This is our final day at uh, COP17 in Durban. Uh, we shall be departing to travel home very shortly. It's very clear that there are some alliances that may give us some hope of uh, good outcomes from Durban beginning to emerge. Uh, the United States has been praising the initiative of the European Union in laying down uh, improved targets, setting out a, a roadmap. The European Union too held a successful press conference with many of the countries from the less developed uh, uh, world uh, yesterday. So alliances are beginning to emerge and China is playing a, a pivotal role uh, as well. The negotiations on the detail of the many texts that there are associated with Durban uh, went on, we heard, until five in the morning. There are many different work streams that are continuing to be worked on. Uh, we, of course, will get uh, a document out of Durban, probably uh, tomorrow, but the reality is it will take some time to assess what the meaning of any such agreement might be. But my old optimism that now we're looking at a roadmap that will show us a way forward to a new legally binding agreement. And of course, for Scotland, we've had uh, the endorsement of the way forward uh, with Mary Robinson focusing on the need for a leading, legally binding agreement, the First Minister uh, focusing on uh, climate justice. Two key issues that we hope progress at Durban. But that's it uh, from COP17 from my video diaries. It's now time to return uh, to Scotland.